Thank you guys. No commercial break. We're going right into it. Optic Gaming up 2-0. This is do or die time for Denial. They've been in this situation just two weeks ago. This time looking for a different outcome. The map Detroit, the game mode uplink. Look how close that stat is, by the way, Puckett. 12.33 average uplink score for Optic Gaming and an 11.43 from Denial. So I expect this one to be close. Both of them kind of padding their stats in the last uplink we saw this here on the main stage as well. So we'll see how both teams are going to perform on board with Denial to start things off. Attach, he's the man who needs to take over with the ASM1. We saw him do it last match in the loser's bracket finals. Can he do it once again? Oh, Scump managed to win that first kill. Placed it. He's the back off, but Crimson's getting loud himself, and all four players full. Nate Chop with the satellite drone, teammate pushing forward, not gonna win that gunfight, so Nate may actually just wait for his teammate. She looks like he's gonna go for two. Why wait when you can just jump over? Uh, that took 22 seconds, Ben. That was rather quick. Yeah. Optic Gaming at this point, really not even making it fun as us casters are watching. This is just a like blowout. They dominate <laughs> so far. Jcap trying to hold strong, though, for denial. And a toss oh, just missed. over. A rare missed opportunity here from Optic. Will it come back and cost them later? Denial on their first approach. You're going to see the satellite resetting. Clayster up top, Atlas. Knows there's going to be a flank. There's Nate Shot, cuts him down with the battle. His teammates pushing into school. That battle, once again, it's Skump, this time beating replay. Skump, though, every time I see him at close range, he is winning these altercations. He is on a three streak. Let's take our screen to him. He's going to make it four. There's another. Melee attack. This time on attach. Crim6 has that satellite drone in his hand. Don't expect to see him miss many more throws. Although the teammates need to start slaying. Crim6 is going to jump over. Oh, tagged it from the side though. And does fall. Scum picks up the drone. He's going to drop as well. Nate shot last man up in Denial's base. Denial with a good defensive stop. Denial playing from the preferred side, not able to get anything going quite yet. In fact, they've kind of been stuck in their base most of this game. It's only a minute and about 40 seconds into it, but I've been looking, there was really just one attempt. Skump shut that down. Replay is now just waiting for his teammates to come off spawn. You do have Optic spawning all the way across the map in the back alley. Nate shot aware of this, is gonna try and rotate Throw it. the drone over. He's gonna get the toss. Small Who's gonna play. get the pickup? It looks like it's Krim, and Krim is gonna dunk it in for the two point play. 4 0 after two minutes. Two plays from off the gaming over extended around. Uh, through that hospital side, and that's why you saw Nature just pick up that drone and immediately throw it. They recognized that now we're fighting for school control at that time, so a very, very quick heads up play from up the game and gives them a four elite. Grenades going in, one player to stop. It's formal. Denial trying to push forward with that satellite replay. He's going to hand it off to a teammate. Both of them tagged up. JCap having to defend himself as the pressure. It's just overwhelming. Skump about to charge in. He knows it any second. Big win there by Jcap, but the drone was reset. Finally, it's going to be picked up. Clayster's going to grab it, but it's Nadeshot winning the battle on Jcap's school. No longer in denial's control. Nadeshot can't get away. Big kill from Clay. Can he get some more support? One on one, he's going to win another big fight. Continues to surge forward. Attached right behind him with the drone. Going to jump through for two. Finally, denial on the board. It took him three minutes, but it's a game just one possession. One possession separating these two squads. And that whole play came from place to locking down school with that battle. Picked up two big kills. Uh, one, of course, after he baited out that satellite drone. So he's doing a good job of controlling that right-hand side of the map as he continues to try and slay with that battle. But right now, Scumpy top slaying this lobby. 13 and 8. Nature has the drone in hand. Jcap desperately trying to put a stop to it. Scump's basically been positive five since the start of this game. Jcap starting to heat up though. He's at 10 and nine. They need him to go big. You got replays right behind him with the drone. And again, it's Krim six this time shutting it down. School control has belonged to Optic Gaming. Very strong up close game so far in this one. Nade shot left alive with formal. Nade's gonna grab the drone. Brings it back to his base, but there's three down. Can take it right down. Mid-street has a one-point scoring opportunity, but I have a feeling they're going to set up for another two-point play. Look for the flank. It's coming in right now from Skunk. Yeah, Skunk's going to pick up a couple of kills here. This is going to be great for Nature, who still has that drone. There's one. There's two. Not going to be able to get it. Nature not going to throw the drone either for a one-point play. So again, another big defensive play comes out from Denal. Denal immediately full of that school side. There's going to be three players pushing it. One, of course, is going to be replaced with the drone. Crimsix with a big two kills. Replays tries to throw the drone at him, but it's going to bounce back and replays accidentally picked it back up. He's going to fall. And again, another big defensive play this game. Krim going to carry this one through. No slide jump. He is going to go for 
the dunk. And he's going to go for the toss now once he gets it within range. There's the one point play. 5 2 Optic Gaming extending their lead to three. 30 seconds left here in the first side. And you have to remember on the second half, Optic will be able to go through school and make their two point plays time and time again, especially if Krim and Scump keep slaying the way they are. Oh, Fulmo just turned around and destroyed replays there. Scumpy looking to just control the satellite drone respawn. Only 10 seconds left. I mean, if his teammate picks it up, they could try and make one final play, but the stuns are going to come out from Denial. Smart play just to make sure that we don't see any more score from up the gaming. I was so going to say, most time. teams would probably just go for a toss on top of the roof there. Optic pressing the issue here. They want oh, yeah. to keep scoring on this Denial squad going up at the half. Denial's not out of it yet, though, but they really have to win the initial battle, get some confidence, get some momentum right away, and keep it rolling. Down three points. We're going to start things off. Clayster at 16 and 11, the only player positive on his squad right here. And he's pulled out the Ameli. So we'll see if that's going to work out for him. Thinking a little bit outside the box. You need 100 bolts to kill all four of these Optic guys. <laughs> see if he can get that first kill on oh. formal. Nope. So precise, that but shot. the recoil too strong. Attach. Going to move in for the objective after cleaning up that kill. Going to meet his teammate inside Garage. Jcap going to get his cuts. Replays there. Takes out Nate Shot as well. Replays is going to push into the base. Attach has got to throw this. And Replays staying alive, unable to clear the wave for him. And he's, oh, he's going to go for the two-point play. No one stops him. That is a big score. Both you and I were ready to critique that if it didn't pay <laughs> off. But Replays gets the two points. It Risky, is now a one-point game. But worth it. Definitely worth it. Now, just as you said, a one-point game. And so many times when you see teams go on that quote-unquote bad side of this map, you see them get an early score, whether it's a one or a two. But school control is ultimately the most important part of this map now. And Denali, if they can level up this game with another one-point throw, they could actually give him a two hit because they're slaying out. It's Clayster, who's picking up all those kills. And Replace is going to go for it. Connects wow. with it. And Denial have a one-point lead here in Uplink Detroit. Four points in under a Clay's minute, or just everything. over a minute. Clayster has been leading the charge. Attach also picking up some crucial kills. Clay running with the ASM1 Ameli combo. JCap on your screen is going to be rotating through. Knows that Optic's going to go straight back for that objective. Three down, though. Replay sprinting to get back to school to try and get the better spawns. But it's Krim charging through. Two players looking at him. It doesn't matter. He is going to slam that one to take the lead. Seven, six, three and a half to go. However, look at that mini map. It's going to be Denial who's going to have early control of the satellite drone respawn. Can they make it count? Yes, they can. Kills go down. It's basically formal as a last line of defense for a couple of seconds until the rest of up to gaming spawn in. Nature now going to be aggressive towards the satellite drone carrier. Should be able to get the kill. Does so. But the rest of his teammates need to slay out. Placed it with this thermal amelli, causing all sorts of problems for up to gaming right now. And Clay just getting overwhelmed. Often shooting at one, gets attacked by another Optic Gaming member. Attached, trying to push in. He's shot from above as a player double jumps over his reticle. Scump going to pick up that kill. Nate Shot is going to run through the mid street. Everyone worried about him coming through school. He's going to go around the perimeter and dunk it again. Nine, six. Optic Gaming turning up here after losing their lead. They've put in three points. And really impressive stuff once again. And you know, again, we have a two-possession game, three points. So they're now going to have to amp up that pressure. Scum trying to slay around mid-Atlas. He is going to fall. Replays, picks up the drone, connects with a melee attack. And, you know, you're left with that difficult choice now. Do you go for one or do you go for two? Uh, he's going to go for two here. I think uh, you got to, to at this drone. point. He has to throw the drone. He has a teammate there. It's going to be Jacob. He snuck behind enemy lines. Can he pick oh. up a couple of kills? That's one. Tries to throw out the stun, but that drone should be reset. And that was a big toss by Scum. 27 and 19, or excuse me, 29 and 17 make it 30 in 18 after that altercation. Very impressive stuff from Scump. The reaction time is just ridiculous. Nate shot rotating the satellite through school once again. You got Krim leading the way. He checks mid street, doesn't see anything. Calls it out to Nate who doubles back. He's gonna push it on the street. One point play opportunity. Is there an interception inbound? Not gonna happen. One point play on the board. Four point advantage. And Seth is slaying as well. So up the game, gonna pick up that drone. It's comfy on a five kill streak, 35 and 18. Talk about killing, but Replays has got that drone in his hand. Can he manage to juke out up to gaming? He's actually oh, he directly did. behind Nature. What's Nature's up, gonna Nate? need to turn around, but Replays goes for one. Can it connect? Yes, yep. it can. Three point game once again, still in favor of up to gaming. All right, two up for both teams. You've got Jcap spawning his teammates out in front of school. Gonna go for the kill on window, then try and take this through garage most likely. But you got Optic sneaking up on the objective. He's gotta be careful. It's Scump. Scump 
hasn't really gone for the drone much at all this game, and you can see his score reflecting why. 37 and 19, trying to fight for double positive. Crim6 battling for mid street, keeping everyone pinned in school. Satellite is down. It's going to reset in about four seconds, but it's just a matter of time before Optic locks this up. Uh, and all they need to do is keep doing what they're doing right now. Puck it, slay around the satellite drone, pick it up, play the drone. You know, do that a couple of times. You're going to win the game. A replay's just got a three piece grenade. How much of an impact is that going to be? All four players fall, and the drone in Clayster's hand. They need to go for a two point play here. They need to try and slay out. You see, they're now pushing, but Scumpy and Fall will pick up two kills. Now, maybe just go for the one. And uh, that's unfortunate because if Replay hits that three piece, you, you can't need to convert that. 25 seconds left. Replay's trying to go for two. They needed a two and a one. And it looked like they were trying to go for the one. That's uh, right, the two on that play. And unfortunately, not going to be able to connect it. The drone has reset, but 15 seconds left. Not going to be enough time to convert a two and a one. So Optic Gaming will be your North American Call of Duty 2015 champions. Give it up for Optic Gaming. Only dropping the one game to phase all weekend long, proving they are the top team at Call of Duty, dominating North America in this venue. They have looked incredible, and what a performance again we see from them today. It's a team effort, but Skump in that last game absolutely taking over 39 kills, 22 deaths. Incredible performance from the Young Slayer but it's the objective play that is just the most impressive part of this squad. Oh, uh, yeah, they, they just get it done. Five uplinks from Krim, five uplinks from Nature as well, but when you have Scumpy going, you know, a 1.77 KE, 39 and 22, it's almost impossible to lose a game like that. Big props to Denial getting back here once again. They had to win eight matches after dropping to TR. They made that long loser's bracket run, just running out of steam as they run into the green wall. But still, this is a big result from them. Winning that last game gives them the second seed in North America. So what does that mean? As you've heard Rambo explain all weekend long, they will not have another North American team in that pool when it gets to the World Championship. Oh, that's going to feel good. It's going to feel real good because, I mean, you never know. So these North American teams you've seen all weekend long here, for example, TR came in, didn't really know too much about them for the majority of people, but they came out and caused some massive upsets. And you, know, you don't want to place TR in your pool when it comes to World Championships, because they could cause an upset. Well, we know that we have some weapon tuning happening before this champs. We are going to see how these two teams adapt. They still have three weeks to prepare, but Denial, you got to just look at the stats from the last two weeks and say, are they the second best team here in North America? Are they the second best team in the world, Ben? I mean, it, it depends. I'll put you it's, on the spot. I'm not afraid. It, it's tough. You, uh, Team Calibre, for example, have gone the furthest against Optic Gaming, it seems, every time they've played each other. But then FaZe, the only team to take a map off them here. But they now have found themselves in the final both times that we've seen in the past couple of weeks. It's tough, but that's the thing. I think that second place, second to third, is, is so, so close, in my opinion. But Optic Gaming, without that, the best team in the world right now. So many teams chasing Optic Gaming, your number one squad in Call of Duty right now. Let's send it down to the floor. We got Maven with our North American champions. All right, I am here with Optic Gaming. Uh, been a deja vu two weeks ago. I was down here with the four of you after you took that home. Yeah, fantastic stuff. You guys lost one game very, very close to the dream, but still impressive stuff. How are you guys so, so dominant? Honestly, I think it's our ability to clutch up. I think we had four different 5-5 five, five rounds of Search and Destroy, and we've only played four games of Search and Destroy. So I have to go back and look at that statistic, but we just know how to clutch up. All these guys are just picking up kills when they absolutely need to. We've had a lot of close maps. I mean, we're playing really talented teams, but these guys just have that, that wow factor that just makes them so good. Yeah, it's impressive to watch you guys. There were a couple games, but for the most part, complete control from Optic Gaming. Now, caught champs. Three weeks away, that's the big one. How are you guys feeling? Well, we secured the first seed, and we're playing the best Call of Duty, I think, that a lot of us have played, maybe besides Crim6 on that dominant uh, complexity run. Um, but to be honest with you, we're just going to go back and work on the small things, maybe work on rotations for Hardpoint, because I think that was really the only reason why we lost that map to FaZe earlier, just we weren't focusing on our rotations, and it showed in the score, but we still kept it close. Uh, so we're just going to go keep practicing, make sure that our game is as tight as it has been for the last three weeks, and uh, hopefully we'll win the World Championships. All right, well, great stuff. Optic Gaming are your regional champions. Now, three weeks, March 27th through March 29th in Los Angeles, California, we will have the Call of Duty Champions Championship. You have Optic Gaming here, going to be your number one seed. Also, make sure to tune in to MLG.TV. Starting this Tuesday, we are kicking off Season 2 League with MLG. Thank you for everyone that turned in all weekend long. See you in three weeks.
Ready. 